we will record this uh, workshop, but it's not going to be streaming online. So in case you don't want to, to be recorded, you can just switch off your cameras, but it's gonna be only for educational reasons, nothing else. So we can move on uh, since we have the introductions to let you know a little bit uh, better and feeling a bit more comfortable. So I give the stage to my colleague, Berka. Hello everyone and welcome. So my name is Berka and I work for the municipality of Örebro in Sweden. Uh, I'm here today to, I have uh, one task <laughs> to start with and uh, I will introduce you to the wheel decide. It's not a tool that we have invented, it's an online tool. And uh, the main purpose with the tool today is to use it as a starting energizer. Uh, Maybe we need that after a break with coffee and or whatever. Uh, it's a it's a fun tool. You can use it for fun or for work. Uh, you can create your own wheels exactly how you want them. And uh, uh, the one we will do today is one that I made, and I will share my screen. Uh, here okay. can you see the wheel yes yes, yes. and uh, now i will spin the wheel and uh, uh, if we all just follow the instructions that comes up and uh, maybe it could make us all feel a bit more comfortable are you ready let's go you have to put your uh, Unmute yourself. Okay. Because we are. Because we need to hear you. Your voice. Sometimes. So please hear your voice. So please unmute yourself. Okay, let's Kiki. go. <clears throat> let's go. Ooh. Board with quarantine, thumbs up. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we all are. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's <laughs> come on, <laughs> let's do a dance. <laughs> okay, yeah, this moment. Yeah, stretch out. <laughs> Energize ourselves a little bit. Yeah. And the next one. Show your socks oh, if you have them on. <laughs> <laughs> I saw different colors, I think. <laughs> a variety. <laughs> okay, so how do you feel right now? Better? better <laughs> yeah okay thank you berga yeah you and think yes. we're ready yeah i think yeah, okay <laughs> uh, you missed sing a song okay <laughs> that was in the, the next uh, week. <laughs> I, I could show you one more it's uh, you as i said you can use this wheel also for work and uh, this uh, ball here we have like an evaluation wheel you could if you have a, a, a session with your volunteers or a meeting with many volunteers and they have maybe in the beginning they have troubles talking to each other or don't want to they have troubles with filling in their forms so you can use this one and then you have questions okay. different questions uh, about uh, their experience so this is a tool you can use for fun or for work yeah and you can modify it as you like there is you can a... exactly mm -hmm. 
You yeah. can put your own questions there. You can yes. feed the wheel with your own questions. And uh, you can uh, put the buzzer, press the buzzer, and then you choose the right uh, question. Okay, Becca, thank you. Thank you. I will. Yeah, turn back, close the um, search screen. And now we would like to know more about you. Uh, just if you want, tell us your name, your country, and um, uh, if you are a volunteer or if you have any kind of position in uh, an organization, an NGO, or you just, uh, you like the event and you just joined. So we are all uh, ears here to listen to you. So who wants to start? Anais? Why not? <laughs> okay. So I am Anais, I am from Italy, and uh, I am working in, with, uh, with uh, Eufemia, which is uh, one of the partner organization of uh, this project, Volume. Um, Ilaria is one of my colleagues, and uh, I am currently uh, in charge of uh, youth exchanges and training courses, but uh, I want to know more about uh, also the volunteering uh, projects. Um, and yeah, because uh, we are also hosting some volunteers and so it happens uh, now and then that uh, I also deal with their activities. So this is my interest uh, in being there and uh, knowing more. Thank you. And Thank you. Yeah. So who else would like to take the floor? Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Evina. I'm from Greece. Uh, currently, I'm staying in uh, the Netherlands and doing my master's. Uh, I'm not in an organization yet, uh, but I have participated in many uh, Erasmus Plus projects. And uh, I'm, re I'm really looking forward to become a part of an organization and uh, be in charge of uh, volunteers and uh, actually work for the implementation of uh, Erasmus Plus projects. Thank you, Vina. Thanks a lot. Laura or Elena? Hello, everyone. Hello. My name is Laura. I'm from Valencia, Spain. But Hola. now I'm, I'm living in Brussels, in Belgium, since October. I'm working as a volunteer in Center for European Volunteering. It's an NGO as well. And I came here because in theory I wanted to, I was going to help them to um, arrange some volunteering around Europe. But right now they are a little bit uh, stopped. I don't know how to say because of COVID. So I'm helping them with communication tasks and more things. But the idea is to try to organize uh, some volunteering for summer if it's possible. So that's why I'm here because I want to um, listen some ideas. Um, I, I would really like uh, to learn how to uh, arrange the volunteers with them with new ideas. Okay, thank you. Gracias, Laura. <laughs> Elena. Hello, everybody. My name is Elena. I am currently in Romania and I'm here as a former volunteer. I did my ESC recently and I am still interested to stay in the domain. So it's, um, it, it's also because of this purpose that I'm here to, to find out more about the tools. Uh, did you already did your service in uh, another country as a volunteer? Yes. yes, I had my ESC in Warsaw in Poland. I awesome. finished in um, August this year. So. And uh, what were uh, your tasks? What was the topic? Um, European Matters. It was uh, in Schumann Foundation in Warsaw. Oh, nice. It sounds very interesting. Okay, thank you all for your short presentation. It's very helpful for us. And uh, let's start right now with I give the floor to my colleague Kiki, who is joining us from Thessaloniki. Hello, 
Hello, nice to meet you. Uh, I will um, send you in the chat a link for another tool that we are going to use now. It's called Padlet. It's already been sent, but I don't know if someone. Yes, it's already it. been uh, sent in the chat, but uh, Kiki will send it also right now. Please okay. click on the link. It's a Padlet, it's uh, an online tool, it's free. It's open to everybody that has the link. And there, I can share screen as well. Uh, okay. So I can search screen so in order to help you. Just a moment. Can you share screen, Kiki? Because for the moment, I'm not available. Oh yes, now I am. Sorry, I am now. Yep. Okay, so can you see my screen? Not okay. really. Ah, yes. Yeah. Okay. okay, this is the Padlet that uh, the organizers told you about. It's uh, an online platform where you can add a lot of stuff it's like a big whiteboard let's say so this is our workshop holistic evaluation and uh, these are our links so it's time that we tell you to go to a link you can find it here click and then uh, for the for the mentimeter you need also the password so just copy paste the password it works like this you just click and uh, so to continue the presentation, you need to enter Mentimeter and put the password. There you can find some questions about evaluation. And as soon as you finish, we're gonna share the results. So take your time and join uh, Mentimeter. So the first question is, what is evaluation? Take your time and think for one word that represents. Mm Okay, so I think uh, that everybody has voted for the moment. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have more votes that are coming. Yeah, of course you can vote more than once. Well, as you can see, um, it's a word cloud. So it's a cloud made from words. And the ones that are uh, the bigger words are voted more than once. So I think uh, we, we are an overview. An overview, yes. 
Yeah, it's very valuable your input. Uh, so what do you think about evaluation? And we can see in the big world is a learning process, is understanding, it's feedback, the condition, interaction, reputation, consideration, the truth and learning. Very interesting uh, approach, I can say. A learning process, I would agree with the learning process and uh, understanding as well. Yeah, I think it's uh, really, really deep when you go in the evaluation, what you have as a result is the learning, learning for the volunteers, learning for also for the mentors, for the people that are involved from the supervision group. Okay, so we go to the next one. Yes. Um, now we would like to answer why evaluation is important, why you think it's, um, it's uh, important. And um, you can type as many answers as you want. Okay, I, think I can see that we have some more answers. And we can uh, start reading the first mm -hmm. um, answers. Why is important? Is important for the learning. Uh, it facilitates the learning process. It's important for development. So it is very important. It helps you to sum up your goals, achieved or not very important as well, give the real image of what is really happening, to know the opinion and the progress of the volunteer. Uh, it's important to close a process and it's important for learning the upcoming events uh, slash projects. Very interesting. And let's move to the, the third one. Um, in the third one, uh, the question is if you have ever filled an evaluation form. If yes, you can, um, down here, you can press uh, like, if no, dislike, and question mark if you don't uh, know, if you don't remember. So, so far, we have two yes. In any kind, we can say an evaluation form uh, after a training, after a youth exchange, as a volunteer, as a mentor, as an employee. Okay, so we have three uh, yes and one no. Okay. Thank you very much for your answers. You really now we have, I think, a, a clear image uh, how uh, the evaluation procedure looks like for you. So for the next step, we would like uh, we would like you to click on the link of Jamboard. It's in the Padlet, you can see it here. Give me a minute. So you can click here to the link to the Jamboard. Jamboard is uh, like um, an online, let's say PowerPoint, where you can uh, put posts, you can write. And this is our Jamboard can now start with my, my screen. 
So now it's time for the most interactive, let's say, part. So you are going to be divided in two groups and working uh, together into two per two people. So just a moment to load. The connection is a bit slow. Okay, I can stop sharing for a moment. Okay. Uh, Kelly, I can share screen if you want. Uh, I can try once more. I think now we are ready. Okay. Yep. Okay, so can you all uh, see my screen? Okay, this is the first page of uh, uh, the Jamboard. So what we are going to give you, we're going to give you three profiles of a volunteer. So we have uh, the first profile here is Jason, he's 23. He comes from Germany and he's volunteering in a Greek NGO for refugees. So let's see his profile. Jason is a very hardworking person under difficult situation in an NGO for refugees. He's not very social and he finds Greeks lazy. The hosting organization wants to help him integrate, but it seems that he doesn't like Greek way, Greek way of living. He's satisfied with his work, but he doesn't enjoy life. So let's move to the second one. Here we have Sarah, 19 years old from Italy. She is a volunteer, she is a volunteer in a Polish environmental NGO. So Sarah feels integrated in the local community and she's very satisfied with the living conditions. She expected to work in a social environment by having interaction with many people, but due to the COVID-19, all the work is done online. That leads to complain a lot about us even. Her relation with the mentor is good, although she keeps some things in secret. And uh, our third volunteer is uh, Mina. Mina, 27 years old, from Morocco, uh, volunteering in a children's leisure center in Faroe Islands. There's little islands that are close to Denmark and between, I think, Denmark and Iceland. Mena is a very social and normal-minded person. The fact that he is a transgender and from an African country is not easily acceptable in the small community of the island where he works. The other volunteers of the center don't divide him at their parties. Mena likes his work, but he doesn't have any fun or interaction with other people. So these are the three profiles, our three volunteers. And uh, let's say your task will be to recognize which one is uh, his or her evaluation form, which evaluation form belongs to who, uh, to its volunteer. Uh, so we have here evaluation form number three. We have it's part one, part two. It's uh, we combine together it's six pages our, our evaluation so it's uh, in two parts it's one so we have we start with number three then now we have number two part one part two and in the end we have evaluation for number one part one part two so we are going to divide you now in two groups of two persons. And uh, when you come back, we would like you, we will give you again a Mentimeter and you will select uh, which is the right one for each volunteer. Is it clear so far? Do we have any questions? All you need to read is uh, the evaluation forms and you can find, of course, the profile of the volunteers in the beginning of the exam board. So we're li really looking forward to uh, listen to you and uh, listen to the results. So what we're going to do is to, we're going to divide you in breakout rooms. If you click uh, on, the, um, on the breakout rooms button, you will find 
uh, some in the very end, some um, uh, breakout rooms. The name is Jason and Sarah. So you will need uh, so to join uh, Anais and uh, Laura will join Jason, W3A Jason, and uh, uh, W3B Sara uh, will join Evina and Elena. Uh, you will have 15 minutes and then you can come back here in our um, breakout room, which is uh, W3. Okay, please don't go to the plenary, don't leave don't put the button, push the button, uh, uh, click on the button, um, go to the, leave the breakout room. Just uh, come back to the breakout room W3 when we are, so we can discuss the results. So, is there any question? Okay, you can go to your rooms there. Can you tell me again how to? Okay, you can... Uh, run your mouse in the screen and then you can click on the breakout rooms. Go down and select uh, W3A, Jason. Um, um, Anais, are I you from the phone? Me. Are you from a mobile? No, no, I am from the laptop, but I oh. don't see Do you where. see? Do you no. see breakout rooms? No. <laughs> Just run the mouse on the screen, and then uh, it's the line that comes uh, under our image. Okay. Okay. Click on this, on this the breakout rooms button. There's not. I mean, there is participants chat, share screen, record, ask for help, and reactions. You don't see breakout rooms. No. Uh, okay, uh, we can ask the tech team and they will assign you to the right room. Thank you. Okay. I'm sorry, but... Um, <laughs> Kelly, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes it needs to um, upgrade to the latest version of uh, Zoom. Uh, maybe that's why you don't have the breakout rooms. Yeah, that's um, probably. <laughs> Kelly, in which oh. room Anais should go? Jason. Jason, okay. Okay, so Kiki will come and ask for help because you have to be the host to assign people to the breakout rooms. Sure. Mm -hmm. Lara is over there. Is everything clear with the explanation? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yes. <laughs> How did you find the profiles? Mm. Very specific. <laughs> real or unreal? Uh, no, could be real, but uh, very it's specific, I would say, <laughs> directly to a point, yes. Yeah, it's based on um, real examples. Really? Yeah. <laughs> not, with names. Not, not the same names, not the same country. Uh, yes. This one, but the, the situation is... Uh, I don't know, Berka, if you can uh, recognize the profile of uh, the volunteer. No, not really. Uh, no. <laughs> I say no. <laughs> you have worse or better? <laughs> what? You have worse examples. Yeah, worse and yeah, better. Not worse, like, <laughs> not worse uh, volunteers, uh, worse situation, let's say. Let's say. Yeah. We, our volunteers here in Urbro, they are feeling quite good, but uh, they are bored. <laughs> okay, Laura is back. Laura, can you click on yeah, the sorry. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what is happening that I'm having trouble to join the uh, JSON room, but yes. I will try again. Okay, just click on the breakout room and join the presentation. Okay. Okay. Elena is over there. Yeah, they join. 
Ok. Ok. Yes, they join. Ok. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, how about it? Oh, thank you. I have one in blue. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> how was it? How did you find it? Good. Very good. I think it went good. Yeah. yeah. I was glad you... that we have four persons also. So, yeah. in different countries. We had Romania, Italy, Spain, and Greece. Yeah. So, it's good. So, Kiki, how, uh, when I saw the Mentimeter, the last one, uh, we're going to see the results in a way. What I have to do in the end? This one. Older will come back at 45. Uh, yes, 45. Yeah, uh, Kelly, in order to present the Mentimeter, you have to click on present. Mm -hmm. So this is how it will activate the Mentimeter. This is how I did it. And then I share screen and the results will come in. Okay, I have a series of... Uh... Okay, yeah. I don't know how it looks like in the... Um, to present, okay. It looks like in the presentation. For me, it's not... Um, This one, these presentations, you cannot see. Um, okay, waiting for players. Okay. Yep. So if this, you find it. Mm hmm I hope it will go well. I have it here. You play uh, Berkan. Yeah, I can share my screen. Yeah, okay. Okay, I will be back. Can mm. you see it? Yes, this is the... Yeah. This is Kiki's... Um, That's that one. Yeah, this is key. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. three and one. And one, yes. Can you yeah. go to the the third one? Can you go to the Padlet and click on the last one, the last millimeter with this code and play? Can you insert the code? Yep. Okay, you can enter your name. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I need to... Uh, nothing happened. Okay, okay, so I need to... Um... I stop share. Oh, no, it's okay. Uh, so I need to press enter to start countdown. Okay. There it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now it's the third one.
<laughs> okay, so I can see the results now. Okay, yeah, cool. Okay, yeah. Okay. It works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I can choose a quiz music. It's ready. So I also added music when they are playing the quiz. So they can, I think they can, they need to vote in uh, the first group and the second group, let's say. So it's Elena and, uh, and Evina. And the other one is Anais and Laura. What time are we supposed to finish with the workshops? Six o'clock. Yeah, because the one is one hour and um, and fifteen minutes, the longest one. And then we have to go back to the plen plenary or no? Um, drag us to the plenary, and it will stop the breakdown, and we go back to the plenary for the evaluation. I I will share a. Um, uh, an Instagram post from my one of my volunteers that I sent to Romania. Mm -hmm. uh, she posted this uh, like two days ago or something. I, I sent it in the chat uh, in the chat, and I I translated it in Google Translate. Okay, yeah, in the chat because uh, and see what you think about this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing before. Okay. Hello, Elena. Hi. You can still go back. Uh, you... Yeah, yeah, but uh, actually we kind of finished, so. Are you finished? OK, stay with us. Check on the chat. And uh, Berka is saying with us a nice story. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Okay. So can we have the link? Hello, welcome back. Where uh, Berka is sharing a story from uh, his volunteers. <laughs> so let's see. I I can share it to everyone. Yeah, yeah, share it to everyone. 
this is from uh, one of the volunteers I sent to Romania. And this is her latest post on Instagram okay. without picture, just the text. Can you send us the link? The link to the Instagram? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. But the, the, there, the message is in Swedish. Okay. Yeah. Just a sec. The famous Corona party of the volunteers. The, the thing is, she has, like many others, probably they are quite bored with the situation <laughs> <laughs> and needed some social life. And I, I don't really know what to say about it they haven't commented on her yet but um, yeah oh nice what can i say about well <laughs> oh how nice where is she originally from <laughs> she is from sweden ah okay oh yeah. my god Okay. <laughs> She's Becca's volunteer. I, it's my volunteer. I sent her there. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess the differences are quite differences, so to yeah. say. I, the thing is, I have two more volunteers in Krajowa, and they did not participate on this, but they told one of them, he told me that uh, this was quite a, a scandal over there. They have had problems with it in the organization of course maybe they were the ones that were taking the picture so you never know no they, said they weren't there <laughs> well i guess they, well, they, they 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 posted it on social media and everything without face masks and yeah it was not so i guess good. there would be an evaluation <laughs> over there <laughs> <laughs> yeah it would be nice to so be they, on that they, one. they violated all corona restrictions on black clubs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the sounds familiar. Is, the thing is that right now, well, I don't know exactly how is it in Sweden. It should be kind of not so uh, restricted as in Romania. But even though I just came for from France for like one week, and there they are really there are li really a lot of restrictions while. When I arrived here, I had the impression like um, almost there's no Corona. So I don't know how. Um, and to be quite honest, when I was in my um, ESC, I um, like I catch the Corona um, pandemic uh, period at the very beginning. So and then I uh, finished the, the service there and I moved to France for another project. And when I arrived in France, uh, making a comparison with uh, Warsaw, like with Poland, it was kind of a big difference. Like in my perspective in France, I really had the impression that there are restrictions and the fees were quite high. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, I don't know how exactly she feels um, knowing that she comes from Sweden. I guess she feels kind of restricted, but in comparison with other countries, um the restrictions are quite mild i would say but she has been in romania since august last year so oh she's okay. yeah she's not new there <laughs> oh, okay as i said that before there would be an evaluation i guess <laughs> yeah <laughs> probably <laughs> a long one <laughs> so i go to the uh, sorry the other break uh, room so they can now uh, pick them up and you can continue. Okay. Hello. Hello, Kelly. Hi. Are you ready? <laughs> yes, yeah, but I don't know how to come back to the other uh, room. Uh, okay. 
Uh, can you see the button breakout room? Mm -hmm. Click on it. Yes. And click on it to the W3. Holistic evaluation how? Click on join. W? W3. Holistic ah. evaluation how? Click on join. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we'll wait for you. I think <laughs> that I will have the same problem. Again? So that. I mean, I, uh, if it's a problem of uh, uploading the the program and I have a um, previous version, I cannot see the, the bar. Okay, no worries. I will go to the plenary to automatically assign you that. Grazie. <laughs> Thank you. And six. Oh, yeah. oh my God. I need some help, please, from the technical yes. team. Uh, can yes, you Kelly. Assign, uh, Anais again to W3 breakout room? To W3. She is locked, uh, lost where? In uh, JSON? Yes. Okay, I will send her now. Okay, thank you. And those, yeah, okay. Okay, I will go. University from there. I was a student over there. Okay, okay everybody's back now. We managed to go back. So how was it, the experience? Who was it all? It was okay. Actually, it was a bit uh, difficult to, mm -hmm. to read it at some point because uh, some I think somebody was moving yes. <laughs> something. <so. laughs> it was me. I, I am on my phone and I was moving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. It went like this, huh? Somehow. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's uh, when you're working in one page, so usually when we are uh, doing this with uh, Kiki, we work on separate pages, but we don't bother each other. I don't know. Sometimes maybe from the phone, it's uh, changed a little bit. So let's see how it went and uh, what's the correct answer and how the maths matching is going so you can click on the last millimeter on the padlet again do you want to share again the link of the padlet okay kiki said the, the link of the padlet and you go to the last one um and you find the new password And uh, okay, I hope you remember the answers. Okay, let's start. Okay, 